So from the more traditional currencies like the US dollar or the euro, let's talk about cryptocurrencies. But in order to understand what a cryptocurrency is, we need to talk briefly about blockchain technology. Just a brief introduction, we're not going to discuss the full workings, but it is nonetheless important. Now remember one of the first lessons, the history of financial markets, we had an image in the slides uh, depicting a clay tablet. And on this clay tablet, there was a transaction that was recorded. A transaction between two parties and the clay tablet functioning as a ledger, we call it, um, depicting the transaction between the two parties. Now, of course, we've come a long way since clay tablets, but in essence, we still do the same. We record transactions in ledgers. Uh, this happens, of course, electronically and digitally right now. And you can think, for example, um, the, the transaction between you and uh, the supermarket is recorded in several ledges, ledgers. The ledger of the supermarket, but also the ledger of your bank. Now, this is all well and good. We've, we use this on a day-to-day -day basis and there are ledgers all around us. But in the last 20 years, um, an interesting development has happened. Instead of these transactions being recorded on a ledger that is in the hands of a central authority, we now have a way of recording transactions in a distributed and decentralized manner. And this is where I want to introduce the term blockchain technology, blockchain technology to you, sorry. Um, blockchain technology is a form of a distributed and decentralized ledger. So it's often said that blockchain technology is the technology that underlies cryptocurrencies. A good example of this is the oldest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. So there is the Bitcoin that we can transact amongst each other, the digital currency, cryptocurrency, and there is the technology that facilitates that. And this brings me to the term cryptocurrency. Within the technology, transaction among us, transactions amongst us are cryptographically secured. The blockchain technology runs on a uh, piece of computer code. So all the rules of the technology of this ledger are embedded in the code and transactions among us are secured cryptographically. There's the term cryptocurrency. For this lesson, um, we are not going to dive into the blockchain technology itself because that is a, a path that will take us on several months or perhaps years of research we are mostly interested in the currency that it provides. Bitcoin is one, but right now there are literally thousands of cryptocurrencies. And because they are transacted, remember where there is a transaction, there is a market, we have cryptocurrency markets. Let's quickly look at what markets like that look like. So here I would like to introduce this website, CoinMarketCap, uh, to you, where you can see a list of the majority of cryptocurrencies in existence right now. You can see number one spot, Bitcoin, it's the oldest, it's the most popular, and it's also the most uh, traded, as you can see uh, here in the volume. $24 billion uh, of volume in the last 24 hours. There are others, as you can see, number two spot, Ethereum. You might have heard of it. It's a different blockchain, and it's a different technology that um, enables different features, different possibilities. We can discuss this in Slack if you want, because like I said, I don't want to dive too deep into the, the blockchains themselves. I will provide information on that in the, uh, in the literature attached and some cool videos. Again, it's always nice. Um, but yeah, like I said, there are literally thousands of cryptocurrencies. And this is a way, this website is a way to get insight in, uh, well, price, for example. So you can get a, a view on what the cryptocurrency market looks like. In order to trade cryptocurrencies, as mentioned in uh, the chapter stock markets, we need to go through an exchange. And this is where it differs a little bit from stocks. You don't necessarily need to go through a broker with cryptocurrencies, and this makes it a little bit more accessible. Um, so let's go, let's, we can directly buy and sell cryptocurrencies on exchanges. FTX being one of them that we use for this miner, but um, perhaps the most popular one, you might have heard of it, is Binance. And you can send your euros or US dollar to this exchange, and from there you can directly buy Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. And this is one of the reasons also why we chose to work with cryptocurrencies for this, for this course, because it's just so accessible, and it's often uh, accessible much cheaper than going through a broker and buying and selling stocks or bonds, for example. So from here on out, I think it's a good idea to start looking at these exchanges. 
do some research into what blockchain technology is if you're really interested in that. Uh, of course, it helps tremendously if you do know how it works. You will understand why it has risen in popularity over the last years. And you cannot really trade this stuff without knowing what you are trading. You can get away perhaps with it being a currency and you can trade them amongst each other. And later in uh, chapter three, we'll learn how to analyze these currencies. And you, you could work with that, but you will have a massive advantage on a, uh, in an investment perspective if you know what blockchain technology is. So I definitely encourage you to, to learn about that. So yeah, play around with it, create some accounts, definitely create an account on FTX because we're going to be using that later. Um, a good alternative is Binance. And perhaps if you're in Europe, you can also take a look at Bitstamp. It's considered one of the, the more popular and also safe exchanges. Again, do your own research, careful with exchanges. There are exchanges that are not very reliable. Um, but yeah, this is, I think, a good introduction to cryptocurrency markets and what is happening on there. If you have any questions, definitely, definitely ask them in Slack. Well, we, we can discuss things further. Um, but for now, I think that's it for cryptocurrency markets. It's also going to be our bridge towards the, the future of financial markets because blockchain technology makes different and new things possible. See you in the next lesson, the future of financial markets.